You've probably heard everybody talking about ChatGPT, and then you're wondering, what exactly is ChatGPT, and how can I teach with it? Well, the key to ChatGPT is knowing what to ask it and how to refine your prompts. So I have a few tips for you. ChatGPT is a chat bot. That means you chat with a robot, right? So you're going to go to the website and you're going to type some sort of a prompt where you're wanting it to write something for you. For example, write a response to this parent email and you can paste the email and it's going to output a response, but maybe you want to improve the tone. And so you just reply back. You're having a conversation with this chat bot and you want to keep giving it prompts to help it to answer even better. Reply with a friendly tone. Now remember, you're having a chat. So you can say it and that and do it again and not have to rewrite the entire prompt because it remembers what you said before. So I like to create a new chat when I have a new task for ChatGPT to do so it's not learning from my previous conversation what I want in the new conversation. So let's use ChatGPT to start a conversation about frogs. So we're going to write a paragraph about frogs. Now, is this writing sample good for my students? It depends on what grade level I teach. So I can modify this. I'm like, that's a good paragraph, but at a first grade level. So notice that I'm referring to the previous prompt. I don't have to start the whole sentence over again for 10th graders in a biology class. So it's going to keep modifying that prompt for me. Now let's continue this conversation about frogs. I have some different writing samples. Maybe I want to do them at different reading levels so I can differentiate for my students, but then I want to quiz my students. So I'm going to write a five question multiple choice quiz within the same chat so it knows what that context is. And now we wouldn't want to just blindly give a quiz to our students but from chat DPT. So make sure that you review and modify this, but it does help you to get started. Is chat GPT accurate? Mm, no, you definitely need to fact check. Fact check everything. Read it closely, edit it, adapt it. Chat GPT is great for getting you started, helping you with ideas, not looking at a blank page, but don't trust the information that it gives you. Check it yourself, make sure that it's accurate before you give it to students. So what you'll see here is that I've started a new chat. I want to talk about surface area and not about frogs. And I don't want it to be talking about frogs because it remembers the previous conversation. So a new chat. Now I'm really into depth of knowledge. That is DOK levels. DOK4 is the highest level of complex reasoning. And I find that when I ask chatbot to give me DOK4 level questions, they aren't always DOK level four. So it's really important that you fact check the output. This says a cylindrical can has a diameter of six inches and a height of 10 inches. That's actually DOK1, but I asked for DOK4. So don't rely, make sure you fact check. Now I don't have time in this video to do 100 prompts that you can put into ChatGPT as a teacher. But if you go to my blog, alicekeeler.com slash 100 ChatGPT, you're gonna be able to find 100 suggested prompts. Hopefully these will help you to be innovative and to use ChatGPT to go beyond just making worksheets faster and instead helping students to learn more and for you to give better, faster feedback and how to interact with parents. So check it out.